Hello friends, welcome back. Meta has just released Code Llama, an AI tool for coding. It has been on the top of Llama 2, the fine tune for generating and discussing the code. It is free for research and commercial use. In this video tutorial, we will see how we can use it in Google Colab. Let us see how we can use Code Llama 7B Instruct model in free Google Colab. So first I will make sure that I am using GPU. So I will connect it. So I will confirm. So the GPU is connected. Next step, we will install transformers and accelerate libraries. It will take a couple of minutes. Note that here I am using transformers library from GitHub directly and I am not using the PyPy library because at the time of recording this video, it was not updated for Code Llama. So once it is installed, then I will import some important libraries that we will use. That is auto tokenizer, transformers and torch. For this demonstration, I will be using code llama 7b instruct model. You can also try with code llama 7b base model. After this, I will create a tokenizer using auto tokenizer and use this model code llama 7b instruct and then I will create a pipeline. In the pipeline, as you can see, the torch type is torch.float16. I am not using any quantization right now. So it will download some models. As you can see, it, the size is 9.8 gigs, so it will take some time. So it took about two minutes to download the models and creating the pipeline. After that, I will define the prompt. For this, I will use the system prompt as provide answers in Python because I will be demonstrating in that. And the query would be. Implement a function that takes a list of integers as input and returns a new list containing only the prime numbers from the input list. I will define the prompt in f string. And once the prompt is defined, I will create sequence. Here I am using max length as 400. You can increase or decrease as per your requirement. Temperature I am using 0.1 because I want it to be more towards accuracy and I don't want it to hallucinate. It will take some time to run. Once it has run, then we will see the result from generated text. So let us wait for some time. So it has created a function. Let us try it out once. So I will try it out here only. So it is the function. So the function ran successfully. Let's try out. Let's see if it is giving the correct answer. So I have given a list of input numbers. I will see if it did, if it finds out the correct answer. So as we can see, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. All of these are the prime numbers amongst the given input numbers. So it worked perfectly. Let us try it out with some difficult question. This time I will ask it to create a Python class that represent a library catalog. The class should allow users to add new books, remove books by title 
display the list of all books count the total number of books in the catalog let's see this time i will increase the max length to 1000 because the class will be long rest all settings are same and it will take longer time as compared to previous one because i have increased the length let's wait for some time to generate the result so it has generated a class let us try this one also so we will test the class in this collab notebook only so class is created after that we will use the same demo we will see if the add book is working properly so yes there are four books as has been printed out in the output now let us try removing one book using the same sample code that it provided So yes, the one book is removed. Now the total book count is three. And lastly, we will check the display books. So as we can see, there are three books in the catalog. So yes, it created the class perfectly. So I demonstrated it with Python. You can also Try it out with C++, Java, PHP, TypeScript, C Sharp, Bash and other languages in the same way. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.